All right, what's going on, guys? This was a long time coming, and I have to say, man, I'm excited to start a new series on the channel, new modern anime, if you will. I know a lot of guys have been waiting on this. It's been voting. It's been in polls, and it's been voted in to second place a couple of times, coming in second. That's why I decided to do it. After I finish Hunter Hunter, the last one, Hunter Hunter, um, one. So second and third, um, was My Hero Academia, and of course the other one that I'm going to start, um, very soon, which is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now. That will begin sooner or later, this weekend, hopefully. Um, but I'm slowly rolling things out for the weekend. Today is, when? Wednesday? Finally getting a chance to actually get these reactions done. I'm going to do about three, maybe four episodes today. I don't know yet. There's no promises, okay? As I told you guys before, I go according to my gut most of the time. And if I have the time to do do more than I will okay you guys might be wondering what is that roaring sound in the background that is a fan if you can hear it I'm not sure you can hear it, but I think my mic is picking it up that is a fan for some reason I came home today and my AC is not working properly I don't know what's going on it's hot as hell in the house and I have to be using a fan right now but i hope it's not too i mean you're not gonna watch the reaction here anyways because i'm not putting this up on youtube um you guys know it's the same format we might be a small group over here who knows who's gonna watch my reactions hopefully you guys that have been trying to get me to react to this will tell your friends okay and you can tell them oh terabyte reacts does full reactions man no cap so let's do this man i'm excited to jump into this for real um have a little bit of background on what this is about um i know it's about superheroes or something of the sort i'm not exactly sure our what contains what the story is about but i know i mean it's people with powers or something of the sort i don't know but we're going to jump into this, man, see what it's all about, and then I will talk to you guys afterwards for a review of whatever amount of episode I did. So, um, I always enter any anime with a little bit of um, speculation, <laughs> you know, or suspicion, you know, because a lot of people, they might enjoy something, and I might not enjoy it. You guys have yet to let me down. On the stuff that you suggest I do on this channel. But that don't mean I'm going to like My Hero Academia. Because you like it. <laughs> okay. It's a very popular anime. And usually popular anim animes are. They're likable. They're likable. To say the least. You know what I'm saying. They're, they're, they're very likable. That's all I have to say. I, I've never been let down by an anime that people have said. Oh this is it. Well. Except Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has, when it became popular, it really went downhill after that. So, I can't say, um, I think Dragon Ball Z was as much as you were going to get out of Dragon Ball. I think that's where it hit its peak. And right now, all we enjoy is plot holes on top of plot holes on top of stuff that don't make no sense. Nobody dies. Well, except Cell, <laughs> you know, like everybody just keeps coming back because of the magic of Dragon Balls. Yay. <laughs> you know, so, um, so yeah, Dragon Ball, I think, because I was recommended, not on this channel, but before how I got into Dragon Ball, it was recommended to me. Um, and I finally got a chance to watch it. And after Dragon Ball Z, I was like, okay, 
okay, you the messed up the whole thing now because I'm like, you know, like there's no consequences to anything. Like everybody that dies just come back. I mean, the end of Super, everybody came back. So, you know. Anyway, let me stop talking and get to these reactions. Hopefully, you guys, <laughs> you can see that I'm not a hundred percent right now. I'm delirious as hell. But anyways, let's go watch these. Let's lighten the mood. Get some reactions done. Okay, I see you guys for the review. Okay, so we are back, and I have to say those two episodes were good. It's a really good introductory. Um, into the series. I wish more animes would do what this series does. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those, it really reminds me of Naruto a lot. How Naruto started out where you got the point from episode one continuing on. You know what I mean? Like, I got what this was going to be about from episode one. A little more information in episode two. Him saying that, oh, I forgot to mention that this is the story of how I became the greatest hero. So, okay, I'm ready for the journey. They got the interest is there. I want to learn more about this. And they're doing a very good job of how they starting out the anime, introducing um, All Might, right? Those other heroes are, you know, they're cool. <laughs> they're cool, the, the ones that we saw. You know, they're cool, but. All Might is the coolest, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, he's funny, um, kind of sorry to hear about that injury that he has, so he can't stay in that form, I guess, um, you know, is he always in that form before he was injured, I don't know, if maybe he was able to maintain that form a lot longer, but he always looked like that scrawny dude, you know what I'm saying? So it could be that situation too. But I like his character. I like his character. He's a good tone setter. He reminds me. Um, if, if you guys don't know, I've watched Naruto, um, all episodes of Naruto, probably more than 10 times over. So you're going to hear a lot of me comparing stuff to Naruto because Naruto is my favorite anime of all times. Okay. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. It's not gonna happen <laughs> okay so um so yeah man you're gonna hear me compare a lot of stuff uh, most animes that i watch i compare to naruto because um in in my opinion i think naruto is a well done story there are some plot holes there are some hacks there's that stuff too but i think it's overall it is an awesome story now if you're going to talk about perfection of story when you're talking about um, I believe Death Note and um, being close to being a, a masterpiece, even though I call it a masterpiece in its own right, if you're going to go as far as to say Hunter Hunter now. Now, Hunter Hunter, I believe, is, is perfection in storytelling in an anime, no doubt about it. So um, if you're going to compare it to um, Code Geass, which another masterpiece, in my opinion, those first two seasons that I have reacted to on this channel, it's, um, you're gonna hear a lot me comparing, um, whatever I'm watching to a lot of these animes, which is to do so. I like to analyze and go deeper, a little bit deeper than the surface, you know, entertainment, fighting, and all of that stuff, just to get a little more deeper understanding of what the author is trying to tell in the story. And that's why you see in episode one, you, you know, I pause to talk. I don't talk during watching unless it's, you know, like, oh, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. But I usually pause if I have something to say. Most people don't like that. Yeah, or I would say some people don't like that. Um, but it is what it is, is what I do over here. I like to give my thoughts because a lot of times during the review, I can't, I don't remember certain things. So I like to just say what I have to say right then and there. Sometimes, you know, it's 30 seconds. Sometimes it goes on for two minutes. That's just me. But if you can't stand that, Hey, <laughs> that's just what it is. Right. Um, but anyways, man, um, the reason why. Um, you know, in my intro, I was talking about, it's like, I hit my head today and 
you know, this has cheered me up a lot, a lot better, but because I know I had to come home and do this today. I had planned to do it today. So, but, um, while, you know, I bent down and got up and hit my head on something and, you know, I've had a headache since. So that's why I'm trying to be, I'm not <laughs> super elated or anything. Um, but, <clears throat> But man, this this anime really got me up and going. So definitely, I give it props to that. Cause normally, if I'm feeling down and stuff, I usually do like to hop on the reactions. Cause I know it would raise my spirit. So thank you that this anime is not a slow start by no means a slow start for this anime. So I'm happy for that. So they just jumped right into it, and I loved it. I think Bakugo or or Kachan, I think Deku calls him. Kachan, or I think that's what he calls him. But I think he's going to be an interesting character going forward from just from that moment that Deku jumped in, quirkless and all, and say, and say, <laughs> he threw his backpack at the dude. <laughs> that shit was so hilarious. He threw his backpack at him. It's like, you better hold these pencils real quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, man, um, pretty cool stuff. I, I already love that OST that plays in those heroic moments. I like that OST. I don't know if it's All Might's OST because they played they played it also for Deku when he jumped in. So maybe both of them will share that OST. And you guys know if you've been with me for a while, you know I appreciate really good OSTs, man. I do think that Naruto is the goat of OSTs when it comes on to when you're talking about over a period of a lot of episodes. Like Naruto has always had. OSTs for days like it's it's hard to f for you to tell me that there's a OST in Naruto that you hate um like hate can't stand it you know what I mean like it's I'm, I'm pretty sure that's very hard for you to do if you have watched Naruto um another one of my favorites is from um from Ippo Hajime no Ippo right another one of my favorites man um you guys know which one I'm talking about. So, the one from the very first season that they couldn't bring back because of they couldn't get back the licensing or something. So, they couldn't bring it back at all. And I really missed it throughout watching those three seasons of um, of Hajime no Ippo. So, um, so yeah, man. I'm definitely interested in this. Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. Why? why I'm looking forward to it because they've piqued my they've definitely piqued my interest and also the story look like it's going to be something told from Deku's perspective not all might so that that too is very interesting because you introduce a character that probably Deku always wanted to be you know and then meeting his hero and his hero living up to the hype you know what I'm saying? Literally living up to the hype, which is something that doesn't really happen in real life. When you meet your heroes, you know, most of them turn out to be assholes. It doesn't happen a lot where you meet your heroes and, you, and you're like, oh, that dude really is as cool as you see him on TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool, man, when he met All Might and, he, and you realize, oh, this dude is that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm seeing him blood of... And to get the encouragement too from him you know as i was commenting on what his mom did it was not the right thing for her to do i pointed that that out immediately i saw that reference because i was like that's not what your parent is supposed to do and if your parent is out there crying because somebody told you know what i'm saying like somebody gave you bad news or something no your parent is supposed to be that hero. It's supposed to tell you that, listen, I don't care what nobody said. They could tell you you're talentless. They could tell you you're an idiot. Remember that I'm telling you this, that you are strong, that you are awesome, that you are going to accomplish. You are going to bring the world to its knees. That's what you want to hear from your parents, man. You know what I mean? So you want them to have the utmost 
undeniable confidence in you. You want to hear that from your parent, you know, you know, and that's why he said in the end at episode two is like, that's what I wanted you to tell me that it's possible to still be a hero, even though I'm quirkless, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm glad that All Might, which is another person that he looks up to, says that to him. So that was an awesome moment. I like that moment very much. So and they're doing a very, as I said, man, the OST is really good. I can definitely see me going forward, maybe crying to probably some episodes. I can see that because this OST, it really gets you here in the heart. It, it really pulls on your heartstrings. You know what I'm saying? So I can definitely see me crying during some Maybe some top class moments that I shouldn't be crying, but <laughs> I could see it happening definitely in this series. Maybe at the end when I catch up, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Maybe there are some, they, you know, as I said, it's, it reminds me a lot of Naruto when it comes on to OSTs. Like those OSTs, like they grip you, you know what I'm saying? Like they grab you and be like, come, listen, listen, pay attention. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely there. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. As always, if you are new on the channel, thank you guys for coming back and checking out the review after you went and watched the reaction. Of course, always say over here, gratitude is never enough. Um, at the end of this video, I would like you guys to know um, if you're new on the channel that there is a Patreon. I try to do this at the end of my videos ever so often you know i don't do it often but you know i just letting you guys know that we do have a patreon on the channel if you want to support the channel throughout the time you are here or whatever the situation is sorry about that um yeah so if you want to do that support the channel through patreon you can do you go over there check it out read the tears um i don't put my reactions on my patreon because there's no need there's no need. I'm not going to put my reactions like for anime, TV shows and stuff on the Patreon because I'm not going to put that stuff behind a paywall. Now, I do do um, read throughs of mangas. Those that stuff is over there. We're currently just um, picking up from the end of season three of Ippo over there. We've done um, I think it's about 10, about 10. Uh, what is it? 10, maybe like I think it's like 14 chapters we did already um, in those two that are over there. Um, there is early access for that stuff. Just read. Just go over there and read it. You get a better understanding if you click on that um, thing and see what is being offered over there. At this point, it's not that much. There are some things that I am planning to change in the near future about it because um, there are stuff that I share over there that is not acceptable that is not accessible on YouTube, which a lot of people are saying I should make it accessible on YouTube. So I'm kind of revising things over there for now, just trying to figure out some things, bounce some ideas off of some people, see what they're saying. But we'll see how things go and what I decide to change. But I will catch you guys later. Of course, remember to leave a like and also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you hyped for me getting acquainted with this universe of hero academia okay and then of course share subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys later man you are terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys later let me go rest my hurting head thank you